Hello and welcome to this brief demonstration of how to build a CPD learning plan on the Australian College of Pharmacy's learning management system. On the 1st of December 2015 the Pharmacy Board of Australia released revised CPD requirements including a registration standard for continuing professional development as well as guidelines on continuing professional development. People applying for general registration and pharmacists seeking to renew their registration must declare that they meet the CPD requirements by the next registration renewal period which closes on the 30th of November 2016. A key change in the revised standards and guidelines is that the board has strengthened the requirements for pharmacists to plan their CPD annually. Each pharmacist must maintain evidence of their CPD activities for the previous three years. The Australian College of Pharmacy has developed an online application to help members satisfy the board requirements for their learning plan. The learning plan is part of the College ePortfolio. The ePortfolio helps pharmacists to plan their CPD, undertake educational activities that can be mapped to their learning plan, and the National Competency Standard Framework for Pharmacists. It also allows them to record their CPD activities and reflect on whether their learning satisfied their CPD requirements and was applicable to their scope of practice. Before you start to build your online learning plan, it's important for you to think about what your continuing professional development goals will be and how you would like to achieve them. Firstly, identify your current scope of practice. You might be a pharmacist in charge in a medical centre pharmacy or a clinical pharmacist in a hospital. Define your current scope of practice as clearly as possible. Next, identify where you would like your CPD activities to take you in your lifelong learning journey as a pharmacist. You might like to become accredited to undertake home medicine reviews, for example, or to work for a pharmaceutical company in drug information. You might just simply want to work towards satisfying the board's registration standard for CPD. It's completely up to you. Once you know where you are and where you want to be in terms of your professional role and scope of practice, you need to identify what your knowledge gaps are before you can commence development of your learning plan. Think about your strengths and weaknesses. It's important to address areas where you may not be up to date as well as developing your specific areas of interest. Reflect on your current practice and identify some learning priorities in the context of the competency domains outlined in the National Competency Standards Framework for Pharmacists in Australia 2010. For example, if you want to become a diabetes educator, you will need to develop a comprehensive understanding of diabetes and its treatment. This might require you to learn more about endocrinology and cutting-edge pharmacotherapy for diabetes. Take the time to jot down on a piece of paper what you need to know in order to fill your knowledge gaps. Now you are ready to start developing your learning plan. I'm going to show you how simple it is to develop a learning plan within the college system. After signing into the college homepage using your member username and password, select My Learning Plan and Journal from the top menu as I have done here. This will take you to the Learning Plan Setup page. To start developing your learning plan, click View. The first page is an introduction to the learning plan that contains some background and a step-by-step -step guide to developing a learning plan. After reading the introduction, scroll down the page to the box titled Overall Goals. The College Learning Plan allows you to identify an overall goal for your continuing professional development as well as specific goals to allow you to build toward and meet your overall goal. The overall goal forms the general direction for your learning plan. The College System provides some online hints to help you during development of the learning plan. Whenever you see this black eye or question mark icons, hover your mouse over them to discover more about that step in the learning plan development process. 
I've decided that my overall goal is to become a pharmacy manager, so I'm going to type this into the overall goals box. You may also have other more specific goals that are part of the direction you plan to take in your CPD. Maybe you would like to undertake a clinical diploma or NBA. You can also add these goals to this box. Click on the tick icon to save. The next step is to add a start and end date for your learning plan. Many pharmacists will elect to use the start and end date that corresponds to the CPD year the 1st of October to the 30th of September. However, you can use whatever date range you like. Your learning plan entry can be longer or shorter than one year if you prefer. Click on the tick icon to save the start and end date. Once you have added your overall goals plus the start and end dates of your learning plan, the next step is to add a learning plan entry and you do this by clicking on this tile. This opens the learning plan entry dialog box. Again, the system has provided you with some hints next to each field to help you through the development of your learning plan entry. The first step is to define a specific learning objective for this entry. If I'm going to be a pharmacy manager, I've realised that I need to know more about human resources. So this is going to be my objective for this entry. The next step is to determine how you are going to access the education you need to achieve your objective. Because I live in a rural location and finding locums to relieve me is difficult, I'm going to look for some educational activities in HR that are online and don't require any travel. You could choose to read a journal, attend a conference or undertake vocational training or just listen to a podcast. Think about the type of learner you are and select the option that is best for you. Some people are happy to undertake self-paced education at home away from the distractions of work, while others thrive on interaction with their peers and prefer attending a face-to-face -face event. The next step is to select the national competency standards that the learning should relate to. The Pharmacy Board requires that pharmacist CPD activities are applicable to at least one of these. The college system provides you with a list of the standards in a drop-down menu. This is quick and easy and does not require you to research the standards. The majority of the human resources standards appear in Domain 3 of the framework. So if I scroll down, I find that Standard 3.2 is Manage and Develop Personnel. Sounds perfect for me. You can add more applicable standards to this box if needed by clicking on the box again and selecting the next standard, but that should be enough for my requirements. Once you have selected the pertinent standard, the system automatically filters the large number of accredited CPD activities on the college system to find the ones that are applicable to that standard. Coaching in the workplace looks perfect for my HR learning plan entry. The next step is to use the calendar to plan a completion date for this learning plan entry. Give yourself a reasonable amount of time to complete the activity for this entry. If you are unsure, don't worry as the planned completion date can be altered at any time. I'm going to give myself two months to complete this entry. Leave the completion date blank until you have satisfied the requirements of this learning plan entry. Click Save. When you click Save, your learning plan entry will appear in the bottom left hand corner of the learning plan. You will notice that the status of this learning plan entry says Planned and your planned completion date is also showing. 
Once you have undertaken all of the necessary learning for this entry and you have entered the actual completed date, the status will change to completed. You can access the details of the learning plan entry at any time by clicking on this tile. If you need to make alterations to this learning plan entry, click the pencil in the top right hand corner and then make your changes. For example, you could enter the completed date uh, of this entry or you could add other college courses to this entry. Click Save. If you undertake an activity external to the college but that applied to this learning plan entry, you can add the details of this activity by clicking Self-Record External Learning. Select whether the activity is Group 1, 2 or 3 and follow the instructions. You can add as many learning plan entries as required to achieve the overall learning goal you identified at the start of the learning plan by repeating this quick process. Remember each time you complete a college CPD activity or self-record external learning, your CPD activity is added to your college learning transcript. This satisfies the Pharmacy Board's requirement for recording of CPD. To further satisfy the Pharmacy Board CPD standard, you must reflect on your learning activities. You can do this easily on the college system by opening My Journal and Evidence. Here you can comment on whether the learning activity achieved the learning objectives outlined and whether it satisfied your own requirements for learning and your scope of practice. Perhaps you can use this space to contemplate and record what further study you require to achieve your objective and then go back to your learning plan entry and edit it to add these requirements. Here I might say that the coaching in the workplace activity was very informative I learned how to discipline staff, however it made me realise that I need to know more about industrial relations. If I undertook a CPD activity externally to the college, I could upload a Certificate of Achievement or Attendance here by selecting Files, and then click Post to save your reflection. If you are required to produce a hard copy of your learning plan, for example for a Pharmacy Board CPD audit, simply go to the Print command of your internet browser and the system will reproduce the learning plan and reflective journal in an easy to read format for printing. That completes this overview of developing a learning plan on the college system. I hope it will enable you to have a go at developing your own learning plan to satisfy the requirements of the Pharmacy Board CPD standard.